What's good? Team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content today, back with a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. I want to start things, uh, things off by saying a massive thank you to everyone who does come by and watch these Road to Glory videos because I know they're probably not the most exciting or desirable videos to watch. Um, draft maybe slightly up there with, well, I mean, you know, I don't really create much other content, but um, yeah, obviously these probably not the most exciting, so I do appreciate those who do come by and watch these. Uh, I know there's a few of you in the regular kind of everyday popping in cr uh, crew. So really do appreciate it. Uh, really do appreciate it. So with that out of the way, um, I've been doing the icon swaps in the background. We've only got the League Un to do, which uh, I, I find really weird, the icon swaps, because um, obviously people play golden goals. Some people don't. Some people quit when you score one up or one one. Um, some people play the whole game. I, I don't know. It's weird. And also, what's weird is that you have, like, the Syria, you had League, Liga, uh, the Liga, sorry, and also you had Ligue 1, uh, three main ones, and obviously you had the One Nation ones as well, which were just win seven or six, something like that, anyway. Uh, so they were pretty simple. Syria was simple. The Liga was simple. They were both the same. You just had to score and assist and all that kind of stuff, um, and obviously win games. Then the Liga, uh, Ligue 1, sorry, comes around. And you have to score a finesse goal. Like, why is this one changed? Why why is this one different compared to the other ones? It doesn't make any sense. Really doesn't. But anyway, there's that. Anyway, we've still got, obviously, the uh, score battles one to do, which are just tedious. Um, and obviously, we've got the league in, which is uh, it's just, a, it's just a ball ache to do. The whole icon swaps thing is just a massive ball ache. Um, yeah, I, I really don't enjoy it. Really, really don't. Um, it's quite nice making, like, different squads, but... Uh, the way people play and it's just the way it plays out is just it's just garbage it's just garbage anyway with that out of the way there is a, a new wear card silver stars he looks very very nice and we'll try and obviously get him um might him might even use him in a uh in a squad it, when i try and do that the whole road to a thousand series so it looks quite good to be fair looks quite good um but yeah so we've got four i think it's four icon swaps still got obviously this one to do so that'll be five and then we've got six seven eight yes yeah, so We'll have eight in total, and I don't actually know what I'm going to go for this time around, because last time it was all very, you know, like, I don't actually know. What did I go for last time? I went for the whole 83 times 25 stuff, didn't I? So I'll probably do the same. In fairness, it's a bit boring, but I'll probably do the same. Um, go for that one. Get that one when, that, uh, when team two of What If comes around. That'd be quite cool. I've heard good things about Deco, and I've had a look at him, and he's actually better than better than Burkamp, which is really weird, you know. But um, so I could do that, and I could go for him, and then just sell on Burkamp and get like 600k back. It's it's tempting as well. It's tempting. Obviously, the icon packs don't appeal to me at all. I did want to do the 91 Prime icon pack, but after that whole player pick, it just really put me off because it's like, well, the chances are you'll probably get like a 91 or a 92, like a goalkeeper or something. And if it's check, then I'll just be incredibly sad. And also, you can't get it until like, what, April, May kind of time, whenever they release the batch of two next to. So it just, ah, it's just mental. It's just mental. But yeah, so we also have our Div Rivals rewards, um, which aren't going to be very amazing. Um, what do we have? I don't even know where I finished, to be fair. I think it was... Rank four, maybe. I can't really be, can't can't tell you to be honest. I didn't play that much, but um, yeah, I'll rank three. Uh, let's go. Big ups, big ups for that. Um, yeah, I really do hope they uh, they revise icon swaps. I can probably see them just taking it out and removing it completely for FIFA twenty FIFA twenty two. Um, I just bit myself. Ow. Um, but yeah, so. I don't know, it's just, it's just a whack system, like, giving us half the token, why not just give us all the tokens to play for and just get whatever we want, you know, straight away, why does it have to be this whole batch one, batch two, waiting like a month or so, it just, it, it kills the whole point of it, because, um, I'll sell those on, uh, in the intermission, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know, it just, it seems so pointless, like, I just can't, I, they don't explain it either, EA, they don't explain any of their kind of, like, workings or anything so who knows what what's going on obviously the, the the icon spcs are no longer a thing anymore because they've expired and gone so we can probably see them eventually releasing maybe a prime or prime icon moments spc but it being 
three or so dead players then another 40 days before they ever actually release any more so like what's the point what's the point of getting hyped about when they release the next icon spcs because they're going to be dead players and if they are you know any exciting players like ronaldo eusebio ronaldinho um they'll be so expensive so hardly anybody will get them like because they price the how you get an inform as well which is quite nice um because they price the whole player pick like to a million or plus obviously with fodder then increasing it was like a million plus coins and hardly anybody can do it i was quite lucky with a lot of the untradables i had so it's quite good but it wasn't worth it it just wasn't worth it at all is this guy actually worth anything he's worth eleven thousand coins be worth selling um all be worth selling all be worth selling nobody is i'll just get rid of them can't bothered um so yeah i've just got a real gripe with the whole the way they've done the icons this year it's just so it's just so bad and i guess we should expect that from ea but yeah it's just so bad so bad no communication at all nothing polish striker by munich can you imagine can you imagine so yeah we can only hope we can only hope that uh, next year is slightly different as we expected this year to be different um and was it no but yeah anyway went on quite a ramble to be fair about the whole icon stuff but the thing about it it leads to a lot more discussion about you know if you ever play like a game like rocket league you obviously they got a, a pass like you know a season pass kind of thing like uh, like fifa does here um but they do it in so much a so much better way obviously you can pay to increase your rank um or you could just play the game earn xp like you do in fifa um and then just rank it up this way but also they don't limit you to how quickly you can get to the end of the season rewards like you get to rank 70 or whatever it is in rocket league i mean the same day it comes out if you really want to if you put the time in and also if you or if you, or you don't have to but or if you paid money to do it um it's quite good he sold extra 10,000 coins um so i really wish fifa did the same and i really wish they did like other things like obviously milestones that aren't shit because we got new milestones if you didn't know yeah that was it um like 84 85 and an 86 cool what are we we're in uh march i feel like ea is just living on a different planet they 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 don't understand they, I just feel like they just don't understand in general what to do. So it's the way it comes across. It's the way it comes across. Uh, so we can, I don't know. We can only hope. We can only hope things are different next year. But anyway, let's, uh, let's jump into some games. Let's have some fun. Let's try and have some fun anyway. Let's try and have some fun. This is the Lee Gun team that I've been using. Um, it's garbage. It's, yeah, it's garbage. So it's difficult. Utter, utter garbage. I really don't like Mbappe. I know a lot of people rave about him, but I just can't, um, I just can't get on board with this card. Don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's me, but yeah, he just doesn't, he just doesn't play very well for me at all. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, let's actually go to my main squad. So if you're new to this series, which I you know a few people are new to the channel, this is my main squad, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's yeah, it's pretty good. So there you go. Uh, obviously, new addition to the squad is Sergio Ramos, uh, which we got from a uh, player pick the other day, which is crazy. I think I mentioned this story, but uh, I did three to do the eighty-five times five pack, um, just trying to because I know the player picks kind of gave out quite a few high-rated players, and I did one, and like the second one was Sergio Ramos. I was like, wow. Obviously, that's not quite how I reacted, but, you know. Anyway, let's jump into the first game. See how things go. Hopefully, today isn't just a, a rage fest, because, obviously, I've been playing some of the icon swaps stuff, and it's just been frustrating. So, I'm hoping today can be just uh, can be just calm. We don't face anybody playing one depth drop back. That would be the ideal scenario. Got a good team, in fairness. It's got a very good team. Obviously, still got Mendy in there. As per everybody else. Pretty sure I made the tackle there, didn't I? Wow, okay. We got very lucky there. We got very lucky. Go to it. Thank you. Oh, look at that. 
run by Maradona. Go on. Insight. What? Everything getting blocked, intercepted, blocked, intercepted. Go on. Make that run. Cut. No, come on, man. Like, that's disgusting. That is only a yellow. That's disgusting. Good lord, man. I can't get a consistent ball to go through to anybody at this moment in time. Make the run. Good job, Pogba. Come on, get there. Pogba, yes, let's go. Henri was so fortunate to get that. Bang! There we go, first goal. Um, I don't know how deserved that is, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah, Pogba should have got there anyway. So it's fortunate he did, but then, yeah, the ball just bounces through to us. Get the goal. Henri bags another one. You'd love to see it. Oh, Maradona with the... Not Maradona. Henri! Oh, no! That was such a good turn as well. He actually saved it. That's mental. Come on, Ramos. Come on, Kaka, win that. Nice. Watch this. Mm. Cool. It's just too good. It's just too good. He didn't miss. Let's go. The GOAT scores another one. You love to see it. You love to see it. Good play that was, to be fair. Just to work it around him. I don't know why that ball went to... Oh. Oh, Burkamp. Oh, Henri almost took it again. Let's go. See, like, at this stage, right, what is the point of me attacking? He's not coming to attack me. So why am I going to attack to just give away the ball? This is the problem I've got with rivals. Like, you know, people don't want to come and attack you. They want you to attack them. Like, look at this. Uh, we're just we're just sitting back defending cool i guess cool and now i'm going to do something that's going to give away the ball was that yeah that wasn't wow that was almost a third for omri it's always a uh, you know you never know and a goalkeeper error might occur oh i see maradona breaking through this is Maradona's angle. Come on, Burkamp. Oh, I, I wanted it to Maradona, to be honest, obviously. I think anybody with some brain cells could have told that I wanted that to Maradona. But it didn't happen. Good save by Czech. Yeah, well, Czech's been pretty good, to be fair. He hasn't had to do a whole lot because this guy doesn't want to attack me. But I'd yeah, love to see it. What a save by Czech again. This guy's a beast. Maybe it was a good thing getting him, actually. What an incredibly boring dull game of football like this is the problem isn't it when people just sit back and defend and counter-attack and uh i want to see how many shots he had because a lot of his were just long shots but on with two first goal a bit lucky yeah but second goal was well worked and very well deserved to be fair we defended incredibly well to uh stop this guy actually doing anything he had nine shots seven on target playing some really good football it's all it's all mind games as well this whole game is just mind games. All of it. All of it's just mind games. Mind games. But then also, it's not mind games. So, is that a mind game in itself? There's the question, isn't it? Is the mind game that you're playing on your opponent a mind game? But is his mind game also a mind game that's counteracting your mind game? But also, it could affect your mind game. So, like, if you've got a certain mind game that you want to try and trick onto your opponent... But he's doing a mind game against you. Are they like are they mind games? Is this whole thing a mind game? Who 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 fucking knows? Who fucking knows at this point? Who fucking knows? But that in itself could be a mind. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, good turn to be fair. Come on, check. Thank you. All right, watch this. Bang. On straight on it. Bang. <laughs> Goal. <laughs> Check. Arsenal legend up to Thierry Henry. 
Let's go. Arsenal legend as well. All a mind game, that was. All a mind game. Just booting up from the goalkeeper. The thing is, if you've got a pacey player, like, all you have to do is just boot it up. I don't know if that's an exploit that I'm kind of just, like, you know, abusing. But it works, so I'll take it. Cool, I guess. Oh, my God. It's not even the person I wanted to pass to anyway. Fuck me. Why would the game prioritise somebody who's offside? That makes literally zero sense. Come on, Maradona. Henri, come on. Let's go. What good bit of play that is. This guy's actually very good as well. So, getting a goal against him like that is actually very, very nice. So, big ups. Great job, Pogba. Henri. Back to Maradona. Henri. Bang. Let's go. Henri. Too good, man. Too, too fucking good. Let's go. Um, yeah, what a strike. What a strike. Near post. Goalkeeper can't even get close to it. Things you do love to see. Things that you do love to see. I don't often make substitutes, which is uh, probably unwise. I don't actually need to, to be honest. I mean, I should probably have some more defensive options on the bench. But, um, yeah, I think we're good for now, actually. What's like, what's the purpose? Anyway, watch this. Bang. Tell you, it works every time. And also, it draws out a goalkeeper mistake because I'm pretty sure in... I can't remember which episode it was, but one of them, we saw a horrendous goalkeeper mistake by Edison from that very, uh, very technique, so... Yo, Henri, bang. What are we saying? What are we saying? He is the GOAT. He is amazing. Henri, I can't believe we're 4-2 up against this dude, who's actually very good at FIFA. Uh, would you believe it? Um, he might be dancing around on the edge of the box a lot, but he's uh, he's very good at FIFA. So, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What a goal. Oh, dived in a little bit there, but we got saved by Hector Bayardine. Yeah, that's right. Henri again. Let's go. He's got the pace. Has he got the space though? No. I got selfish. I really wanted Henri another goal. That could come back to bite us, but will it? Probably. Like, I don't know. Our defense is just on point at the moment. Just on point. Just giving him absolutely no space whatsoever. To work with. Go on, Maradona. Okay. Who is that? Gomez. Quicker than Maradona, apparently. Did you know that? I didn't. Sure as shit didn't. So, hmm. That's not good. Good save by check. I'm telling you, this guy's an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Oh, look at Burkamp making the run. Oh, what? How are you going to deny Burkamp another chance? The... Salty, I'm telling you. He was salty. Anyway, we beat this guy 4-2. Things you do love to see. Very, very good FIFA player. Again, he didn't do much with the ball, even though he had even though he had more possession. Um, yeah, he just didn't do much with it. He was just dancing around the edge of the box, trying to get that 100% goal. But, like, I'm pretty sure I, I demonstrated. You have Henri, edge of the box. Okay, I know he didn't have Henri, but, like, just take a finesse shot. Finesse shots are OP. You don't have to have the 100%, um, you know... 100% on the edge of the three-yard penalty spot to score a goal. Um, so, yeah, mental. But anyway, we get the we get, we get the dub. A very good game. You do love to see it. Some very nice goals by Henri. I don't know what that's taking his tally up to, but uh, let's have a look. It's up to 29 goals in 12 games. Just it's a nice team, actually. Very nice team. He's got that uh, what-if Marcelo. Um, Varane, Mendy, of course. Um Pogba, Delhi P, very nice, very, very nice. I do respect a lot of those off chem players because he's clearly just putting in players that he likes or that he has. So you've got to respect that. Your Maradona in some space, let's go. It's not going to fall kindly to him. Oh my God, what are the chances that just like bounces off his fucking face? So you, um... Oh, oh, he slipped past him as well. I don't know who actually made the block. Probably Joe Gomez, even though he doesn't actually probably have him in his team. But Oh, 
Go on, Henri. Henri! Let's go! What a great goal by the GOAT himself. Big, bold, Thierry Henri. You'd love to see it. I still haven't changed his number as well. That's depressing. That is depressing. What a good goal. You can always rely on Henri to uh, bag a goal when you actually need it. Bang. Maradona. Let's go. The people in the box. Burkamp. Ah. Oh, please. He has to get a goal at some point, doesn't he? All right. Bang. Okay. I mean, kind of... What is that? What was that shot? That was... It was pathetic. No, why couldn't you do that a little bit harder? Fuck. Man. Come on, do it again. Let's go. Kaka. Please. Kaka. There we go. Let's go. So, so undeserved. <laughs> So undeserved. This guy's been all over me. But again, he's one of those that's just been abusing skill moves. Like, doing the same thing over and over and over again and getting zero results because I'm just defending it. Um, another thing as well you may not notice, but you also see down there, you also get to actually finally, which I have no idea why this hasn't been a thing for ages, but report the match for a connection quality issue. So if you get disconnected, you'll get the chance at the end to, uh, to actually just press Y or triangle whatever you're on and um report the server or the game or whatever it does the connection in hopes that ea will uh, do something about it i can't i can't imagine they would i can't imagine it's been it's been this way for long enough so why they'll change it now is beyond me but yeah i thought you gave away a pen i thought you gave a pen for that it's very very common but there we go we get the dub against a very very annoying just just boring it's just boring man it's just boring like there's no attempts at all no attempts to really do anything so crazy crazy kept thinking our oh, skill moves you know that'll just trick me or whatever but it was just like we're just going backwards and forwards at that point so i'm not going you know i'm actually i think i'm actually quite good at defending so it takes a lot more than um than just skill moves to beat me but check with another three saves Big, big goalkeeper. Uh, one goal for Henri, one goal for Kaka. And man of the match goes to Sergio Ramos. Things you do love to see. He was a bit of a boss. Bit of a boss. 11.43, supposedly. Or 11.60 or thereabouts anyway. And we uh, we smashed him out to 11.85 skill rating. 11.85. You love to see it. have ranked up to... Rank number 20, which is very nice. Not that I really care. Again, I, I really just don't care about any of this stuff. Why these are a thing, I have no idea. But, yeah. They've got rid of the... Wait, have they? Oh, no. They've still kept them. It, really weird. I don't understand the point of these. Like, league-specific premium prime players packs or prime pl league prime players packs, whatever. I don't understand the point because unless you're hoarding them for, like, team of the season, what's really the point of them who knows so we'll end off today's episode with uh this pack which no doubt will be garbage uh is it going to be garbage it is surprise it's a commendable player commendable libertadores we actually get an 84 and an 83 i'll take that that's not too bad to be fair that is not too bad at all Get 8483, which will come quite helpful. All untradeable. Um, it's actually quite useful for the Lee Gun, um, Lee Gun setup. So that's quite good. Not bad. Not bad. And there we go. So there is the end of today's episode. Hopefully, I've enjoyed um, three dubs. You know, I don't think that's ever been achieved in a single. I think it has. I think it's been achieved in an episode four. But we got three wins out of three games which is uh astonishing because all of them i felt like i was going to lose but then i don't know i just i don't like giving up so just came back and obviously Henri is a beast just get him on the ball you know finesse goal just press b and he'll score incredible stuff so some very very nice goals hopefully i've enjoyed that uh, as well um 
And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you are new here and you haven't already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.